Y'all ever play the Oregon Trail when you were a kid? I remember that game. Comes came on a floppy disk, right? The Oregon Trail. That's what we played in school. Or I don't even know if we uh, maybe we didn't play it. Like was that actually an assignment? I don't know. But I remember the Oregon Trail, right? And outside of that game uh, and the ridiculous amount of communism that's happening in Oregon, that's all I really know about Oregon, right? And you know what I get now? I get a lot of investors who are sick of the games going on in Oregon. Sick of the games that involve the politicians giving away their rights. Buying votes from fucking angry mobs. Buying votes from angry mobs. And you know what they're buying those votes with? The rights of property owners, okay? So what are these property owners who are stuck in this Oregon trap to do, right? Their, their livelihoods are being ruined because their business of renting out their properties is being destroyed because their rights are being taken away, right? Well, a lot of them are divesting, okay? They're divesting in those areas and reinvesting in rental properties where they still have rights, right? We're talking red states, baby! And you know what? I sold $200 million worth of investment properties in red states, okay? And I'm here to help those investors. And we're going to go over a solid cash flow deal that a lot of out-of-state investors probably would have no idea how to find because they're overlooking it. That's what you partner with somebody like me for. Let's jump into it. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV. Please stick around if you like what you see today. Today, baby! We are working with my dude, Mike, from Oregon. Mike, have you ever played Oregon Trail? I want to know. Also, to my understanding, I pronounced the state Oregon incorrectly. I only know this because I made a video. We're going to pop the thumbnail up right here. That's me with Karl Marx on my, on my head, right? That's my body with Karl Marx on there. And, I, you know, I made fun of all the socialist assholes in California and all those communist maniacs in uh, that video is doing very well, right? A lot of views on that one. And a lot of people from Oregon are kind of upset by what I said in that video. But the weird thing is they're not actually upset about any of the derogatory things I said. They're just really pissed off that I pronounce Oregon incorrectly. My bad, bro. That's, this is how I fucking say it. Sorry. I'm fucking sorry. Right? But why are we focusing on how I pronounce that shit? Why don't we be focusing on how the fucking politicians over there are fucking kicking property owners right in their fucking dicks? That's what we should be focusing on. We should be focusing on property owners losing their livelihoods. Property owners having angry mobs of people who don't want to pay for their housing. They're buying those people's votes with your rights, your hardworking people. And I'm going to help you put an end to it, right? And that's what I'm doing for Mike. Mike has came to me to invest in Ohio, a red state, a state where you still have rights as a property owner. And I will handle everything on the ground for you, Mike. Property management, maintenance, construction, over $200 million in sales in this market. I know what I'm doing. But here's the thing. You came to me because people always talk about Cleveland. The Cleveland market's the best cash flow market. Cleveland this, Cleveland that. Cleveland market's a great market. Cleveland city, small small city in comparison to the overall market. Overall market much bigger than the city, right? So if you look at it from far away, from thousands of miles away from Oregon, you think it's all the same. It's not. That's why you hooked up with me because I show you the neighborhoods where it makes the most sense to make the moves, right? There's some neighborhoods that you have more power as a landlord. There's some neighborhoods, there's some cities in this market where you have more control. There's some cities in this market where you're getting better pricing, higher returns, and that's what I do, right? So the property I've identified for you today, Mike, it's not in Cleveland. It's in a little place called Elyria that I can almost guarantee 
you've never heard of unless you watch my show. And I think you're going to get higher cash flow, a lower purchase price, a nicer tenant base, and a more easy government, a more landlord-friendly government to deal with. So let's get into exactly how to structure that deal for you, Mike, right after this. There are two sides to wholesaling. Bodacious marketing to attract motivated sellers and data-driven analytics. Together, they're a match made in heaven. This is our wholesaling course. Let the light get by the doors! Welcome back. Let's pull up the property, get into the details, man, because I don't want you buying in Cleveland, right? I don't want you to do it. No Cleveland. I love Cleveland, folks. I love the Cleveland market, but right now, I think we need to zig when other people are zagging, right? When a good Cleveland deal pops up, of course, I'll want to present it, but right now, I think a lot of people are missing on Illyria. Another place I like a lot is Lorraine, but let's talk Illyria today. I think a lot of people are missing on Illyria, man. Like, you know, this is Holden Wise TV, right? We got, as I talk to you, about 60,000 subscribers to the channel, right? And what we do, we talk real estate investing, and it's Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. And I'm not saying just because of our... Our, our Holton Wise TV or this or that, just because of Holton Wise, the whole world knows about Cleveland investing. I'm not saying that. Like, we have a decent part in it. Don't get me wrong. But, like, national publications and things of that nature, people are always talking about Cleveland. When you read national articles, like, what's the best real estate market for cash flow properties? What's the best for landlords? They always say Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. So everybody from all over the world that's traveling to the best markets looking for that cash flow, they narrow in on Cleveland, on Cleveland, on Cleveland, right? But Cleveland is just a small city in the greater area, right? It's you know several million people are here, but only like three hundred fifty thousand actually live in Cleveland, right? But you know you hear Cleveland Browns, Cleveland Cavs, Cleveland this, Cleveland Rock Hall, like all this, right? Everybody just focuses on that. You forget about the suburbs and the surrounding cities. And one city that is just freaking slept on, dude, is Elyria, and that's why I got this one: one forty-four Abbey Road, Elyria. Okay. Price, 89 grand. On the market, 67 days. Now, it was not on the market for 67 days, priced at 89 grand. They just dropped that, right? Had this been in Cleveland, it probably would have got picked up when it was the higher price, right? They had it uh, at like 100 Gs, right? In Cleveland, it probably would have got scooped up, right? But in Elyria, because there's just so much fewer investors paying attention, this old bitch didn't get scooped up. But now that it's at 89, I think it will definitely get scooped up. So I want you to come in hot. 90 grand, right? Come in 90 grand because I think they will get multiple offers now, right? Had to spend in Cleveland proper, which in my opinion, a lot of the C-grade neighborhoods that I work in, in Cleveland itself, are probably a little bit lower quality tenant base than what you get out here in Elyria. But you would have had to pay about 10 grand more had you done it in Cleveland just because there's more supply of buyers out there because more people are aware of it, right? You can't buy something if you don't know it's for sale. You know what I'm saying? This property, already got two tenants in there, okay? Now, both tenants are paying under market rent, just so you're aware. Both tenants are currently paying five fifty. dollars We will want to slowly increase their rents up to market rate. We don't want to cause them to move out by immediately going to market rate, which is seven fifty dollars a unit. So when we get it up to market, fifteen hundo dollars comes in, eighteen dollars for the year, right? We don't just immediately go. Uh, with a huge $200 increase because that will cause them to move out. Then we got to, like, repaint their unit. Like, everything looks good in these units right now, right? But there's a lot of carpet in these units, man. When we move those beds, those couches, things of that nature, like, is there going to be, like, a spot where the couch was where it's, like, just, like, a shade lighter than the rest? If that's the case, we're going to have to replace it, of course, right? So you want to avoid unnecessary turnovers. But we should be able to just slowly get them up, right? But that's what you should focus on, the long-term cash flow of this property, right? So 15 hundo comes in. You should spend approximately eight thirty, having my team manage it completely passive, right? That's approximately eight thousand twenty nine a year, right? If you pay ninety, you only got to put down twenty two and a half, man. That's it, twenty two and a half, twenty two thousand five hundred dollars. Bank kicks in the under sixty seven. Long term projections here: twenty one percent cash on cash return, man. On top of that, Elyria, in my opinion, another reason you should focus on Elyria, because hey, we're zagging, other people are zagging. Uh, the city. 
dealing with the city is a lot easier than dealing with the city of Cleveland. To be honest with you, they're a lot more landlord friendly. You know what's going to make you money? Owning a property in a landlord friendly area, right? Ohio, why do you guys come to Ohio? Because it's a red state, right? Well, guess what? Elyria is a hell of a lot more of a red city than Cleveland is, okay? So uh, all that stuff. Like even Cleveland's got the new lead laws and stuff. You don't have to deal with that kind of crap in Elyria, right? So my opinion, prices are lower. Tenant base a little bit better and city a little bit more landlord friendly. For all those reasons, I think Elyria, Elyria is the hot spot, right? So now that they've dropped us down to 89, I think now we come in aggressive. 90K, and I think it's a banger of a deal. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.